guys, welcome to our celebrity Big Brother 2 cast reveal. This and is the actual cast. It has been confirmed. The other one was just BS. The other one mostly. was playtime. Yeah. <laughs> we are in an above ground bunker. What? You may notice that this is different from the Oh, yeah. I was like, wait, what? I thought thing. you were like making a joke about like a TV show or something. Yeah, we're upstairs because it's so cold in the basement. We couldn't we're do it. We're both wearing blankets for clothes right now. Pretty much. This yeah. is like a Lenny Kravitz sized scarf. It's practically a full size blanket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, this season kicks off on January 21st on CBS, of course. That which you know is Celebrity Big Brother Season 2, 2019. Yep. And this is the actual cast reveal, as revealed by CBS.com. All right, let's get started. It starts on January 21st on CBS. Yeah. Wait, before we start talking about everybody individually, what do you think overall of the cast? I, if I had to rate it from like A to F, I would say this is a solid B minus, C plus. I mean, would you be around there? Hey, I guess there's some highlights here. It's not a total snooze fest, and that other cast was a total A. What? Possibly an A plus. Which one? The the one that was leaked. Oh yeah, that would have been a whole that's run. That's like a dream. That's cast. a grand slam, but yeah. that's not what we got. <laughs> this is doable though. I think it'll be entertaining. I think it'll be good. I think we've got some real stars and we've got some real stinkers. <laughs> well, let's talk about it. All right. First up, uh, well, let's just say that they're going to follow the same casting rules as they did for the first season. Whoever is available and willing to do this. <laughs> Who's ever declared bankruptcy in no! the past year. <laughs> Who's ever, that makes me so Who's sad. ever really dumb and has no filter. Okay, whoa, Kato Kalin, what? 59, OJ's Pool House Buddy. Okay, I'm gonna be real. I did not know who this was just by the name because I was really young when the whole OJ that? thing happened. Uh, Cause I didn't remember what, like five? pretty much anything oh. from that time. All right. <laughs> He's like a surfer dude type. Um, do he... they um have somebody play him on the OJ show? Probably. I don't know. I didn't watch it yet, but. Is there a new pool house in the backyard of the Big Brother house that he was like, oh, um, hey guys, could you, would you mind if I crash in your backyard pool house? From what I've seen in my uh, brief car research, Sunday is for granny, okay? That's yeah. why this is going up late. Um, <laughs> it seems like he's kind of tried to capitalize on the whole OJ Hey, thing. ain't no shame in the game. Mm, but there was a murder involved, so. Two murders. Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. I don't know. He's got nothing going on. What else has he got to do? But you said he's going to be entertaining. And I trust that. He'll be entertaining in his apathy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sure he's like all up on the social media and everything, but when it comes to like book smarts. Well, he did work in like radio and stuff for a little while. And you know what that means. <laughs> well. <laughs> I mean, I've yeah <laughs> worked with some say radio no more, people before. Say no more. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, um, should be an interesting character. I saw somebody on Twitter predict that he's going to be like the Mark McGrath of the season. Yeah, I could think be. So. Could be. I think so. Is he going to be doing everybody's towels, laundry, towel laundry, and be like, "Come on, guys, clean up after yourselves." Mm, I don't know if he'll be cleaning up after people, but I think he'll be slightly entertaining. Okay. He's, I predict a click, and I think he's going to be... Part of that click? Part of that click. Okay. All right. We got you, Ricky Williams, 41 years old. He played 12 seasons in the NFL. He's a Heisman Trophy winner. Yeah. I don't know anything about football. <laughs> I didn't know who he was. Well, he was on five different teams, which means he probably moved around a lot because he's not good. I don't know. <laughs> because again I don't know anything about football but he did win the Heisman he won some like player of the year stuff but he also um had a pot problem <laughs> uh, not just a pot problem like he got in trouble like four times for pot but you know what that's not such a big deal anymore because uh, pot is compared legal to now. the other things happening in the NFL that's not really a big deal that big of a deal not a big deal I mean, really. And you said, didn't he, does he have like his own line of pot stuff now? 
I'm not sure if like somebody was joking or, or if that was for real, but if he does... Good for him. Good for you. Good okay. for you, man. <laughs> All right. What do you think he's going to be uh, player-wise? I think he's going to be like a meta. But do you think he's going to be competitive? He's a former athlete. I think he'll be competitive, but I'm not completely sure that he wants to be here. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? We'll see. All we'll right. See. You know who does definitely want to be there? Jonathan Bennett. Yeah! A.K.A. Aaron Samuels from Mean Girl. So he was on the leaked list. Yes. And he is 37 years old. He's one of the youngsters this season. He's a presenter on Cake Wars. Well, I, th I don't know if he still is, but he was he for a was. while. Yeah. He just signed up on Supergirl. Mm-hmm. He was on Dancing with the Stars. He left too soon. Yeah, he did. He's living his truth. He came out in 2017, so good for him. I believe he just had a reunion with Lindsay Lohan. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I think they just reunited recently. Oh, cool. And he is actually a really big fan of the show, Big Brother. He, I think he was hanging out with former cast members on New Year's Eve, I want to oh, say. Wow. Yeah, so he's into it. He's coming to play. My fear is that he's going to turn out to be like a Shannon, Shannon Elizabeth, Elizabeth and play way too hard. I don't want to see that happen. I, I believe he is kind of like filling the James of last season. James Maslow. Yeah. I could see them kind of being the same uh, type. Demographic? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think... He's got a lot of potential as long as he doesn't overplay it. But socially, mm -hmm. I think he's going to make a lot of friends. Yeah. Get I, in there. I think he's going to be great. Yeah. All right. Rule. Yeah. Ah. All right. Lolo Jones. She oh, boy. She's 36 years old. She, I think she's like one of the only people One of I a know. few who yeah. uh, has competed in the Summer and Winter yeah. Olympics. That's really cool. Yeah, there are only a few. Um... She she's, was on track and field yeah. in the summer games, and she was a bobsledder. I think she was the break person, break girl person, <laughs> on the on a four-man bobsled team. Did she only do four-person, or did she do two as well? I'm not sure. I, I thought I read four-person. She's okay. a super Christian. She's a virgin still. I don't know. That she interview was from a while though. ago. Yeah, I don't but know. But, like... Things. What is this, The Bachelor? We don't need to talk about it. I, you know what? <laughs> I wouldn't have made a big deal about it, but they made a big deal about it, like, back yeah. uh, on the last, was it the Olympics, the last one? I don't know. It might have even been the one before yeah. that. I don't know. She was on the same Dancing with the Stars season as Jonathan Bennett. But she was the first one out. Are they going to be working together, though, is my question. Do they have... Maybe. Uh, little... Everybody always says when you're on Dancing with the Stars, it's family. It's yeah. like uh, it's like Olive Garden. But is it really? <laughs> I, I don't, don't know. know. Um, but I feel like from what I remember seeing of her on Dancing with the Stars, she might be a little bit difficult to get along with. Yeah. She seemed... Um, I don't know. Very temperamental. Yeah. But she, Sometimes, she was with Val, wasn't she? I don't remember. But I feel like a lot of times these Olympic athletes, they have very, very strong the personalities. Yeah. So you'll either really, really like them or it's just like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> you are severe. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see. It's going to be, um, it's going to be interesting mm -hmm. for her. I don't know. I could see maybe her being a little bit abrasive, but we'll see. She's the baby, isn't she? I think she's the youngest. She's one, one of the younger ones. Yeah. I think the wrestler is younger. Really? Wasn't she? I thought we'll maybe see. she's we'll the get same. There. We'll get there. Maybe she's the same. No. Oh, she is two years younger. Okay. okay. Anyway. The, you know they prefer the older cast on Celebrity Big Brother because you got to have time to get washed up. True. <laughs> All right. So next up, Joey Lawrence, 42. He's done a lot. He's done a lot of reality TV too, but I feel like... And a like lot of scripted TV as well. It's weird because he did a lot of reality TV when these like celebrity competition shows were first coming out. And then mm -hmm. I feel like he kind of backed off for a little while. Yeah. But now he's back. Well, he's the brother of Matthew Lawrence. Whoa, Boy Meets World. Engaged to... Sure. Matthew Lawrence is engaged to Shower Burke, Let's not play. Joey Lawrence. Six Degrees of Separation, Dancing, oh, Dancing with the Stars. With the stars yeah. <laughs> well, he was on Dancing with the Stars also in 2006. Yeah. Was his partner Cheryl? No, he then? was with Edita. Oh, that's right. He was with Edita. Mm -hmm. All right. So he was also on Blossom, Mayim Bialik. I think that was like his big thing, right? Blossom? Yeah. He's also a game show host, 
So he's got that in common with uh, Jonathan Bennett. I think a lot of these people have done hosting here yeah. and there. And he fits the demographic of I declared bankruptcy in 2017. No. He seems yeah. likable though, right? I think so. Okay. I think so. You know who doesn't seem likable? Dina Lohan. She seems like a lot. And she's the old mother of the group. 56 years young. The momager. She's, li <laughs> she's living Lohan. She must know Jonathan Bennett, right? Uh, probably, yeah. You know, because of like Mean Girls. Yeah, sure. Um, what can we say about Dina Lohan? She was also on the, the leaked list. She pretended so that was true. to be Radio City Rockette at one point in her career. I remember years and years and years ago, I used to be hooked on looking at TMZ.com. Oh. <laughs> Perez Hilton every once in a while. Uh, there was another one. I can't remember what it was. It was, I don't know. It's not important right now. No, but it was like another one of those like celebrity gossip ones. Okay. And I remember when this story broke that she was claiming to be a rocket. Mm -hmm. And my sister and I were like, what the actual F? Because we did the research as well and could not find any record of her being a rocket. And uh, yeah, I guess she lied about it. I don't know. Well, she's also in the bankruptcy club, 2018. Oh! Good luck, Dina. Okay. What what else could we possibly think, say about her? I think she's going to bring a lot of drama. You saw that quote about Anderson Cooper talking about her. Anderson Cooper <laughs> is a little bit much as well, so. Yeah. All right. But I, I really do think that she's going to bring some trauma. Anderson Cooper should not be throwing uh, rocks at glass windows. You know? Yeah. All right. Anyway. It's got problems, too. Anyway. Next All right. up. Tamar Braxton. Ah! I'm excited about 41. Tamar. Yes. Singer, actress, Braxton. She was on The Real. She's in Braxton Family Values. Mm -hmm. She she's has had an amazing career mm -hmm. so many uh hits she was also on dancing with the stars of course <laughs> she had to quit though uh for health problems she probably would have gone on you know she did really well she alley. still plays i think it's a like fifth fifth i think yeah. yeah even with the uh health issues so yeah i'm excited for her i think she's gonna be a lot of fun i think she's gonna be Really great in the diary room. She's done a lot of reality TV already, so I think she'll she's be She's going to be a natural. She's polished. Yeah, she's going to be good. All right. And actually, I'm not sure if I'm if it's her, but I feel like she may actually be a fan of the show. Yeah. Like, low-key. I don't know. Okay. So that'll be good. Well, my favorite and yours. <gasps> and I hope yours. I'm so excited! Tom Green. Yes! Canada's finest. 47. <laughs> He's a comedian. He's an actor. Did you guys ever see that movie, Ste uh, Stealing Harvard? That is like our, one of our all-time favorite It's like movies. one of those dumb, funny movies, but it is so funny. Yeah. So funny. So many moments. So many um, quotes. Things that we still yeah. say and I don't even realize are like right. from, from that, that movie. Yeah. Because we've just said it for so many he years now. He was a now. former Mr. Drew Barrymore. Right? They you were married for like a year. About that? I don't know, maybe. I don't know if she signed the release. I don't know. They might be like, cut the feeds, cut the feeds. <laughs> but, you know, like, he had his show on MTV. He had a podcast for a long time. Still yeah. doing stand-up, I believe. He's he's still doing a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, he was on Celebrity Apprentice. He got fired for sleeping in after going when out drinking manager. with Dennis Rodman. Oh, God. So, you know, he's also going to have the Trump stories. He which... survived Trump and he survived cancer. So good for him. Uh, the thing that I'm weirded out by is that he claimed to have invented planking um, in 1994. What? I think I don't think he means like the exercise the one. The exercise. He, he means the like the social sensation. media one. Yeah. Right. I mean, maybe I don't know. Um, He's I got will... a YouTube channel that may or may not be his. Well, I think he has a YouTube channel. I just don't know if that was it, the one yeah. that I pulled up. But I will never forget his. TV special when he went to Japan and he was singing karaoke on the train and he stayed in the hotel with the tiny like oh the box yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know how they have those hotels the in, shoe box in Japan things. oh you have to climb up to your little 
cave. Such a great special. I'm gonna yeah. have to see if I can find that. Yeah, we should watch that. He's so funny. In preparation for the show. In preparation yeah. H for the show. No! Um, On the whole, it works you, very well. <laughs> how do you think he's gonna do? Do you think he's gonna make friends easily or he's gonna be a lot? I think he's gonna be in the click. You think so? Mm-hmm. Okay. He's gonna be in that click. Okay. All right. You think it's going to be a boys club? There are more men than women this club. season. Definitely boys club. Okay, the women are going in with a disadvantage. Yeah, they are. Candy Barres, 44. Ooh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Since season two. Yeah. Singer, songwriter, producer. Okay. Top 10 best housewife. Right? Not only is she a singer songwriter, she's a freaking Grammy winner. Yeah. She was one of the writers of No Scrubs by TLC. Yeah, and Bills, Bills, Bills. Yes. <laughs> okay. She's also a Christian. Will the Christians be um, congregating together? Will she be hanging out with Lolo? I don't know. Will she Will she be a rival of Tamar or a friend? I think they're going to be friends. We'll see. Candy is one of the more level-headed housewives. So I think... But she's probably still a diva. I guess. But I think she's going to be really entertaining. She's also... Okay. So... <laughs> you know, like, I want to say it's on S on NBC. Yeah. You know, like, when SNL's over and they have, like, that Stoop Talk show? Yeah. And you're like, wow, it's really late. And yeah. then after that, they have that the one, one yeah. the radio station, yeah. and you're like, wow, it's, it's really, really late. late. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. she, um, I believe, was on that for a while because I remember oh, seeing really? her. Yeah. Wow, you're His up really late. <laughs> I haven't seen it in a long, long time. I it's don't like know. It's closing time. I know. I don't know if they actually show it anymore, but um, isn't Johnny Bananas on one of those post SNL shows now? Possibly. The I don't know. Oh, the really late one? No, it's like the first one that they show now. Then the they show the stoop one. one. No, they show the, the stoop one used to be the one right after. It's not. Oh. They would show the like hot spot attractions one. Okay. I can't remember what it's called. Oh yeah. Then they show the stoop one, and then they show the radio one. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so it's closing time, then after hours, yeah. then, whoa, you didn't make but it my, home. My point is, she was a lot of fun on that radio show. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I think she's going to be a good time. I, I'll say, yeah. Does she know anything about this game? I don't know. I feel like no, because she did post a video before she went into the house, and I think she basically said in the video, I don't know anything about well, this. Well, <laughs> you know what? She didn't... Um declare bankruptcy that we know of. She's so. got like a lot of businesses and yeah. stuff. She's got her hand in a lot of pots. So, so she's not that desperate to win. So. No. Not like some of the others who would cut you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Natalie, Eva Marie. Also known as Eva, Eva Marie. Marie. She's 34. She's the youngest she's, baby in the yeah, house. Yeah, well, tied. Right. Okay. She is professional. She was a professional wrestler for the WWE. She was on that Total Divas show. She used to have red hair, but now she has blue. I don't know if it's like blue or purple or what. Maybe it's unicorn. Unfortunately, uh, one of her breast implants exploded, <sighs> and she had to have it like emergency surgery. Would you know? Because the silicone was like leaking everywhere. That is horrifying. It is. You know, that's very dangerous as well. Yeah. I don't know how a wrestler could have like um I think a lot of breast have them. It's dangerous. When you're like super muscular like that. Yeah. A lot Say of no more. Get implants. Say no okay, more. Okay, well anyway. <laughs> um she was so good that she made the main roster of WWE after only two weeks of training. Is she so good though? Because I was just like poking around Twitter a little yeah. bit and it seems like um the wrestling community is not really a fan of her. Really? I don't know. I don't know anything about wrestling, guys. I don't. I don't watch wrestling or WWE or any of that. I don't either. But just from what I've seen, everybody's like, oh my gosh, she's so much drama and she's not even that good of a wrestler. But, you know, the so much drama thing is good for this show, so yeah. she could be good. You know, maybe they're just talking smack because why would, do you think they just promoted her to the main roster because she's so much drama? She maybe, can bring the drama, bring the, they, sell the tickets. I don't know. <laughs> she, full Wrestling is not real. She also had a couple of DUIs before she went into wrestling. Uh -huh. Hopefully she's okay now. Hopefully she's grown from that. Yes, exactly. Okay. All right, here's somebody else for the click. Oh boy, this guy also. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> 
Same age as her. Will they team up? We'll see. Ryan? It's Ryan Lochte. <laughs> 34 years young. He's a 12-time Olympic medalist. Michael Second Phelps says... Second only to Michael Phelps. I remember when I got my 12th medal. Yeah. <laughs> What does he have, like 14? I don't know. I think he's got more than that. I, I feel know. like he's got more than that. All right. So do you remember 2016 when he made the false claim that he was robbed in Rio? What embarrassment. That was so embarrassing for our country. For our country. That was our so embarrassing. Country. But then, do you remember when that person tried to freaking like attack him and I'm tackle him on Dancing with the Stars? They like ran from the crowd. And then I felt bad for him. And he him. was like... Yeah, and you're just like, oh my god, this guy is just like... Yeah. <laughs> He's a wreck. I don't even know what to say. Yeah. He had his own reality show, What Would Ryan Lochte Do? Make up a story? I don't know. He also had his little catchphrase thing. And then he tried to like... Yeah! Yeah, he tried to like uh, trademark it or whatever. Is he still saying that? I, I hope not. I don't know. He's a dumb dumb. I mean, come on, if you're making up, like, a story and creating an international incident and embarrassing an entire country, you're a dum-dum. Do you think there's going to be, like, an athlete click? Like, what is the basis for this click? I think he's going to be, like, in the pothead click. Hmm. Okay. Pothead funny guy click. <laughs> okay. You know? I guess. All right. Finally... Oh boy, this is the one that they're really hyping because they saved him for the end of the promo and they're like, one more big surprise. <sighs> Anthony <laughs> Scaramucci, 55. He's going to be hanging out with Dina. They had to have that White House tie. They saw how much attention it brought when they had Omarosa last season. Mm -hmm. So they had to keep that Do going. Do you think they had Spicy and they were like, Spicy was like, whoa, wait a minute, this is too much. Well, here's the thing. We mentioned in the previous video, mm -hmm. the, like, cast leak video, that Spicy was originally, Sean Spicer, was originally on the roster. Mm -hmm. And when he found out that he wasn't getting paid as much as he could be, he bailed. He was probably the one getting paid 70. <laughs> Come on, really? I, I what does he bring to the it. table? I could totally believe that. Um... I mean, he's a much bigger name than Scaramucci. He mm. held his position much longer than Scaramucci. Yes, but we're not looking for a speaker. We're looking for drama. I'm saying he's got much more stories, many more stories. Maybe. Than Scaramucci would have. But can he tell them? Why not? Because he can't, you can't talk about anybody unless they sign a release on these shows, right? Uh, Omarosa? Mmm. <laughs> I'm sure there was a way around it for her for some reason. Uh, the president's a public figure. Okay. <laughs> well, I didn't take journalism law, so All I right. don't know. Well, anyway, I'm a little rusty on mine. I just wish we could get Bill Hader to play Scaramucci instead of actually having Scaramucci in the house. I think that would be way funner. Wouldn't it's only three weeks. Wouldn't it? Bill Hader's yeah. a little busy. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, he was, like we said, the White House Director of Communications for like what? Six days. Was he it holds six the or record. 11? I'm, no, I'm he, confused. The record before him was 11. Or was it 11 total days and six business days? No. Nope. <laughs> Is it was that six business days. days? It was six <sighs> days, and they weren't all business days. He's got a big, dirty mouth. He curses a lot. <laughs> They're going to have to have somebody on standby to bleep all of the curses. Or either that or just tell him, you know what, you just need to shut up for a little bit. But tell us the Trump stories. Yes. <laughs> we want the mooch uh, story Is it going time. to be okay? It's not going, it's going to not be okay. Okay. <laughs> he actually wrote four books. Yeah. Without any curse words in them or... Maybe he was a ghostwriter. One just big I F. I don't know. One big F the whole thing. I don't know. He's got... A really weird personal life. His wife filed for divorce when she was nine months pregnant with their second child. Wow. And then they kind of like worked it out after the kid was born. And they ended up starting a podcast called The Mooch and the Misses. Hey, I mean, <laughs> why not start a podcast and save your marriage? 
uh, I saw this joke not that long ago of like, you know, um, when people are like my age, but back in the day, like, and yeah. they were like, oh, I'm getting like in my mid to late twenties. I guess it's time to like have kids or whatever. <laughs> or like settle down, get married and have yeah. kids. Now it's like, oh, I'm like in my late twenties. Guess it's time to settle down and start a podcast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. I don't know. I cannot believe we couldn't have Tiffany Pong. Wait, 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 wait. I just want to say, I think Scaramucci is going to be um, a lot, like really dramatic. And is he going to be able to deliver the stories? I mean, he wasn't around very long. Will he get kicked out after six days? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Will he break his own record? Which house will he be in longer? Yeah, true. We'll see. Maybe he'll be there five days. Maybe he'll be the first one off. I don't know. But you know who's not in this house? Tiffany New York Pollard. I oh. cannot believe they couldn't give her the money necessary to get her on the show. Well, according to Real Vegas for sure on Twitter, or Real Vegas Backup, or whatever the handle is, she was supposed to be on the show and there was all the drama surrounding her pay she wanted like the same amount that omarosa was right. paid last season and i guess they were not willing to fork over the money if that's true it's really disappointing because she would have been everything she would have been the show i'm feeling like this could be true and that really did happen because if you look at the cast here there are seven guys and five ladies right so it would make sense if she was supposed to be on she dropped out and the only replacement they could get was a guy because mm -hmm. vegas also said that they were you know really reaching going for second stringers third stringers more which, stringers which one do you think is the third stringer uh. <laughs> i don't know um but anyway those are our thoughts on the cast we're going to be doing our daily spoilers and episode recaps. There will be no puppet shows. It just doesn't work with this short format, you guys. I'm we, sorry. We would love to do a puppet show, but... It just won't work. It won't work. It won't work for us. It won't work. Um, but we hope you guys join us for the journey. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let us know what you thought of the cast. Who's your favorite? Who are you rooting for? Tom Green. And <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you on the 21st. On the yeah. Oh my God, it's going to be just around the corner. Mm -hmm. So buckle up, and until next time, much, much love. love.